What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in to Stock Essentials. My name is Alex and today we're gonna to be going over one of the best stocks, one of the best companies to hold in your long-term portfolios. Uh, this is personally one of my favorite stocks and there is very good reason for it. Uh, Apple is a huge company. They have a market cap of $2.34 trillion uh, with a nice PE ratio at 31. And they all, the good news is this is a quarterly paying dividend stock. Although the dividend yield isn't that high, it does pay out a dividend, which is a great added bonus uh, compared to other companies, especially other FANG companies that are not paying out dividends, such as Facebook, Google. Um, so Apple, they pay out a dividend of 0.6%, which is not that high, but it does. It is just extra um, extra money every every four every three months which is which we can't really complain but apple great company and if we take out take a look at the charts it's having a pretty rough start to the year um and if we take a take a look at the five year uh this is a great uh, technology company it's a great growth company and i don't see apple going away in the future uh there's a lot of loyal customers who constantly buy the apple brand compared to other brands and they just have a massive loyal following so apple they always continue to innovate they have some new technology coming out uh like the apple watches the ipads new phones They're constantly innovating constantly coming out with new products and even and in the long term, they're also planning on releasing an electric vehicle, which is kind of insane. Apple releasing its own EV is going to completely drive the stock price up insane amounts if they do happen to uh, produce that. So Apple, great long term stock. I'm um, holding shares in my Robinhood portfolio as well as my Roth IRA with um, Vanguard. Uh, so Apple is a great hold and is one of my favorite stocks. Um, but if we take a look at the options summary, Apple has a ton of flow for call options. As we can see, 200 million calls uh, and only 11 million placed into puts. So people are very bullish on the stock. And that's a very good sign for a lot of Apple investors. Apple has been in this consolidation phase for quite a while now, and it's due for a break breakout as it's about to retest its all-time highs, which is uh, around $145. So if you take a look at the options chain, there's actually a lot of people buying short-term options uh, due to all this bullish flow, which is a which can be a pretty good play. So the dominant strikes are going to be the 130 strike, and it's going to be for expiring uh, July 23rd as well as July 16th. So a lot of people are buying a lot of short-term options. They think in the short term it's it's definitely going to have a lot of bullish flow. So a lot of people are buying some call options that are two to three weeks out, which can be a good play. Now, if you want to be a little bit, uh, you want to look more for the long term. I recommend buying even further out, something like in October, September, uh, possibly even to 2022 expiration date could be pretty good if you're in it for the long term. But personally, I'm just going to be selling uh, cash secure puts as well as buying shares of the stock uh, on Apple because we don't really know what it's going to be doing in the short term. But for the long term, it's definitely a great buy and a great addition for anyone who's looking to add another another stock, another company to their long-term portfolio. Now, of course, I always recommend ETFs in your long-term portfolios, but if you have enough um, in ETFs, Apple could be a good stock if you're looking to put individual stocks into your long-term portfolios because uh, they do also pay out a quarterly dividend, which is a nice added bonus. So that's about it for this video. If it helped in any way, please leave a like. Comment down below if you want to see more good long-term picks. And of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. It helps out a lot. Thanks for watching.